Hello everyone, this is Devo Sims here playing on New Woodshire, our feedlot series. So right now, we are moving our cattle. So a few of my pins have over 35 head and I try to keep it at 35 head just to maintain so each pin holds 50 head apiece. So, that's kind of annoying. I guess these pins don't show, or Farming Simulator doesn't show how many pin, how many cattle you have in the pin. So I have to count them out myself. That's unfortunate. So, it appears we may get our semi out. I thought I was going to do this just with a little trailer, but it only holds... put any in there. It's like I just did a duke to duke freaking moment there. I know you guys are probably trying to tell me. I can't hear ya. Hey dummy, you didn't get any in the trailer. Huh. Trailer only holds six. So, I guess that's not really realistic, because we always put about 12 head in our uh, gooseneck trailer, so. That's a fairly good sized gooseneck trailer too, so. I get it, if they're big cattle, maybe 10? But, depending on The length of your trailer. This looks like it should hold 10 head pretty easy. So I don't know. Probably do this first pin with this uh, gooseneck and then we will move over. Use our. Looks like I need to level that out a little bit. Yep. Did not do a very good job of that. Need a level. So hopefully you guys are all doing well. All my FS fans out there. Too bad this doesn't show you which pin. Oh, I guess I could tag it. Duh. There you go. You guys are probably yelling at me for the screen too, bro. That too. We will park this, get to our semi. Our old Mac truck. All with that a little bit, I'll be able to get them all done in one row, one load. Man, this truck sounds good. Good sounding truck. Gotta get a picture of this, it's just too good.
Went down the wrong road there. at about 35, so it gives plenty of room for expansion. There we go. We'll have to, it's going to be a tight fit water tanker. And the seed tender are just in the way. I have to show my non-backing up skills here. Farming simulator mechanics. This trailer is a mod, but it's more realistic, so it, one of these semis should hold about 40 or more yearling cattle, so it's more realistic to size. so far, so that's good. Expanding. I want to fill up at least a few more of these pins before we start selling. Expanding our feedlot. One thing we are going to have to do is expand our feed while we're doing that too. Can't quite make that. I think I'm going to go roundabout way here. view here. I do like the chrome in FS19, so I know it's not completely because you don't see reflection as much, but it definitely gives a more realistic feel. Tractor. In K 
cab view. So these controls just look just like the real thing. So, yep, old 18 speed. Power shift, these magnums are known for. Fill up, at least give them one load. How are our other cattle doing? So the other cattle look fed. I might feed some off screen so you guys don't have to be see it all. Well, this is the primarily job feedlot. Feeding cattle repeatedly over and over again. So today I'd like to get into harvesting the soybeans in our big field and also like to plow our corn field. Now, I might plow a new field. I plan on purchasing. Let, actually, let's just do that right now. Beans are waiting. So we'll probably, I don't know how wise this is, but we'll max out this loan. I don't know if we'll have enough money now. No. Too bad, so we might have to sell some crops. So possibly we will sh sell our soybeans. Hopefully have enough to expand because I want to expand our corn acres not getting enough silage to run this feed lot so gotta expand our tons of uh, silage we get one field is not enough and I think the big field is probably just a little bit too big so I think that field if I expand it would be perfect Probably do a couple loads in here and get these cattle something to eat. Start out their new pin. Still have five more pins to expand to, so we still got plenty of expansion. So right now we are buying all of our feed until we could raise enough feed for to sustain our cattle growth or feed lot. What was I gonna do? Oh yeah, this is fun. So there was one item I was thinking about purchasing. So, I'm going to have to be able to drain my uh, silage pits over here. Not silage pits, slurry runoff pits. Well, I'll put so this is manure runoff, so I'm going to have to do that. So now it looks like it's going to 
paint the ground for me, which I don't like. Fix that nice and quick. Do a little beautification around here. Sorry guys, you have to bear with me a little bit. Fill points to drain our uh, manure runoff pits for our slurry. Had been wanting to do that for a while, just remembered it. Means we had some time while we're waiting for our feed wagon to load up. So this feeder wagon is off the end. Anderson DLC pack. This is it. Alpha 950. A950 model. Oh, it's just about 30,000 liters. So, what was that mod's name that was in 17? Unit conver conversion mod. I believe that was his name. So it changed uh, anything you wanted. So it changed liters into bushels, if that's what you want. So that's more American. Silage is more by tonnage in American or pounds. So the weight and the pounds of your mixed wa rations, what feeder will wagons usually go off of so they get just the precise uh, mixture in all their feeds so they can make by the growth and what the nourishment of all their cattle they can get they decide what mixture of feed each one of them need so now get the combine running over here because we need the money this is our s780 this is uh, I believe I said this was JHHG but it's basically from it's Sid modding actually so he and J H H G do a lot of modding, so this is obviously my favorite combine mod in 19 so far. not to destroy that oh it's a real weird collision on this combine there I am not touching that header it surely thinks I am
why it was giving me that warning. I'm gonna have to get to the script of this header here. So, I don't like how fast this header's going. It's a little bit unrealistic. I think we will get a course play course started. Good. Yep, that path looks good. Turn this down now so it doesn't run. That's fast at the speed. There we go. Guess I did not save this. So if you guys don't know how to use course play, so this always tracks as, I don't know why these, these shouldn't be here because it's a cow buy. There must be a wrong code this cow buy is showing, but so you click on the field view here. So this is the new version of course play. So if you have an older, older version, it'll be over here. This is where you generate the course, but push here change so you can change on headlands headland passes which direction you want your headlands so sometimes this is good especially for combine to do inside because uh, the auger shoots out uh, start with headland passes being we're using crop description of course we want to use headland passes first and of course most that's most realistic most farmers do the headland passes before they start in all farmers basically. Uh, headland corner so you can do smooth turn, round radius, we'll keep that smooth. Field center, you can do a racetrack which goes around just as a racetrack. Spiral, up down, we'll keep that up down. So, and then drive course, you can save it however you want. Because this head is a little too OP, we'll keep that speed at about 7. And I thought this would be a good header because this is a built-in header trailer. And for the road sizes of this map and all that, it's good because the John Deere in-game header does not come with uh, its own uh, roading ability. So this header does, which is slightly 
OP. I guess I need to. Way too low. So, I have it a tad too high, but with the teeth on it, that's about the right height. Sometimes they do it a little bit lower, but reels don't, it's not as necessary when you have a draper header because of the smoothness. But on an auger header, the ones that have an auger down there. It's more necessary. So auger header just basically right behind the reel there they just have a giant auger which beats the grain more and especially soybeans uh, could bust more pods which potential of leaving more crop inside in your field which draper header it's more smooth more gentle with the crops and less uh, of the pods busting open. Looks like we left our players there. It's a good way, way to get it stolen. Gotta take that back to the farm. like this field is getting some good crops in it, yielding good. Almost at a half tank. It appears that our wheat is also ready to harvest, so we definitely need some straw bedding for cattle. Keep down that, soak up a lot of that moisture. Keep them healthy, nice dry feedlot land. Definitely need a lot of straw don't know for sure if I'm going to bale that or pick it up. I haven't decided that yet. We'll figure that out. Don't know if we'll, most likely we won't get that to that today. We will. Beans is a big field. We'll harvest that and then we'll probably get a hired hand started disking up our cornfield, preparing it to replant. that behind us is the biogas plant of this map. We do not own that currently. It appears that you also have to put in your own silos. So I don't know if that's part of uh, which style you start at. Or not. But you start with the managers style you you just get money you don't get none of the start out equipment in your area but you do get a the house the cow pasture a few buildings and all that but we obviously ended up going another direction with our farm build so I like personalizing the farm making it my own I say I'm 
Americanizing it, making it feel more like what I grew up, what I learned, some of the farms I, I grew up by or worked on, similar to them. So our flashers came on, which means we are about full. We're at over 85%. So we'll jump off here, leave the hired hand go, get some of our start a wagon course of offload for this. Jump in R. 82 95R. Jump in here. Get the first load. We'll probably wait until he turns before we get under him there. Stay away from the header. It's slightly tricky to make sure beans all this change in level and everything so we don't get that unload auger close to the wagon. Here's we got plenty of clearance. So I can't wait till course play gets its what they call it, overload function started. I call it grain lot, grain cart function. So I don't believe it. This. So I have uh, the beta version, 196 course play, which I just updated right before I. Uh, Started filming this. Yeah, so that's this is the overload or grain cart function. And it being course play is beta, that tab or whatever you want to call it hasn't been set yet. It's still in scripting mode. Still scripting. Still beta. right in this direction. So to make a course, you, this is the unload. So this means combine to unload point. This means if you're unloading your bin set, you'd use this. Combine, this would be overload or crank cart. So being we just have a wagon, we'll use this function. So this is field unload. So we start, so every course play especially for unload, uh, I like turning because you want the dots really close like that, right to get go. So if you just do it in a straight function, it's a lot harder for your course play operators to line up. If you turn, they line up a lot easier. So right there, hit the unload point. So all this you have to do here is tr make sure your wagon or trailer actually hits the unload point and drives over. As soon as the course play senses that, it should unload as long as the trigger is 
input correctly. The, other, the next thing you need to not do is make sure you do not drive under that auger because that will mess up course play I'm also getting into another trigger so if there's a animal or load some type of load trigger that's right there you definitely don't want to be around that so stop so I always do put the combine in don't have to do that because you just do that in auto so we'll drive course function off there. So while that's going there, we'll leave them s shortly. Get in our 1000 series Challenger. Now, oh, wait, it's back on there. That's good. Not for a second, I'm going to have to look for my front weight. Definitely going to need that weight in the front for we're disking. Get our deep disc out. Here's our course play operator. It's taken off. Keep a close eye on him. And he definitely dirted something up. Course play operators, the first time they unload, always seem like they derp it up. It's because that. Uh oh. Come on. Oh my goodness. That was a mess. go. You're going to figure it out. Probably still thinks the combine's over here. Doo -doo -doo. Leave him be. Well, I guess he is definitely derpy. So I think I'll do the first round with the disc. I want to make sure all the last year's corn is disc under. Crop diseases. This is corn on corn. Definitely don't want no diseases spreading over.
Gotta. This is definitely using every bit of this tractor's power to get up this hill. It's definitely a steeper hill, so definitely need all eight of its t tires to pull up that hill. that course play operator went all the way around. I'm not sure why he's going in that direction. Okay, go on the outside. You see off in the distance, that's what I'm looking at. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but They are just going to have to wait a little bit. Hired help. Can't find good help anywhere. I do like this disc, it's very realistic, as you can see all the moving parts down there. So on our farm we always call this whisk it disc, it's basically just the model of disc. But beans, they were the most well known model, I don't believe this is, I don't know exactly what this is. Alden, I believe it says. Oh, no, I may not be misreading that. I believe we already have this course. 20, I believe. Yep, deep disc. Start at first waypoint. Oh, let me go over there. Yep, definitely mess that up. read this right this time. It's definitely too close. Vertical offset auto. You don't know, do a lot of damage hitting a header with a tractor like that. That's very expensive. I don't know if I've ever seen that horse from the operator back up like this. I don't think I like it. I 
I did not save that before I deleted it. I gotta set up that course. That was a stupid move on my part. Sharply at the first. Go right in over here. Make sure we hit the trigger. Go. There now, let's save this before we do another do to do. Field 19. Couldn't remember. Wagon offload. There we go. Now, you are offset correctly now. We're searching for that combine. There we go. So, the first round course play always takes, it's usually it doesn't get a lot. So Pierre's, it's just trying to straighten out its AB line here. Beautiful combine here. I envy all the full time farmers out there. I know they have a very hard job. They spend multiple hours. Most of them probably earn every penny they've made. But it's very hard to get farming unless you inherit it or inherit basically inheriting is the only way I'm sure most farmers get into it so either their family helps them out 
to start out or they inherited the farm. So I wasn't that fortunate. It's primarily the reason why I'm not farming now. I always have a dream, but now I play farming sim. So I like playing farming sim basically because I get to relive my all my childhood growing up working on a farm, working for other farmers. That was by far my most enjoyable job. But at that time I didn't have a family. I was young, so I could take the long hours. I got paid really well for how young and dumb I was. Naive. So it's definitely a good experience. So but yeah. That's the thing about memory. You only remember the good parts, you don't remember the long days, the hard labor, all the tough parts of it. But it's definitely a rewarding job where you definitely see the fruit of your labor. That's one of the best things about it. But it's very stressful, a lot of worry. A lot of hardships, definitely a lot of long hours. As you see, these reels are slightly off canter. If you look at the reels, it looks perfectly round, but they're not supposed to be perfectly round, or disregard, they probably are, and that changes the teeth with, so. Back when I was farming, we just had the old tin bats, we called them, that would bat it in. We didn't have heads with teeth on, but I guess that turns an arm, which then turns the angle of the teeth, Aid it to grab the crop, get it into the head. Leave him be. Right along with our 1000 series challenger for a little while. This is one of my favorite spots on the map. Get to look over the giant farm. Speed run. So hopefully you're all doing well. So I'm hoping to get to see the new Avengers movie. I don't know if you all are excited about that. If my inner nerd comes out. I hope to see that here soon. Sure some of you have always seen it. I don't remember if the other ones were three hours long or not. That is definitely a long movie. I'm sure I won't even notice. Because if it's anything like the other ones, it's definitely action packed the whole entire movie. So, 
on the so that we'll cut it off here so what we'll do today is primarily we'll disc this field get it prepared for planting we'll cultivate this field too and we'll finish harvesting our soybeans so thank you for watching take care and I will see you later Hey YouTube, this is Steve O. Sims here. I could really use your help. So like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you for helping the channel grow.